Mike McCallum, the famed body snatcher, making his third defense of his middleweight crown. Two great technicians here. They're so wily, they're so crafty, the pair of them. And referee from Great Britain, in fact, one of Britain's very best, John Coyle. Too many similarities between Callum Bay and Ali in style, but, uh, well, they've both been top men in the trade. Thank you. Down. Ready when you are. First bell, it's due to go 12 rounds, and we expect something special here between these two veterans of the ring. McCallum showing no signs that he might be fading. Many people have tried to write him off. His last defense was last April against the man sitting beside me, uh, my co-commentator tonight, Commonwealth middleweight champion, Michael Watson. Uh, Michael, you know at first hand how good is McCallum. He's an extremely very a very good technician technician i'm sure he'd be up against this one you know he's only blemish on his record and you know he's going to go out there to produce this tonight well they call him the body snatcher because he really can be a devastating body puncher but callum bay has some very big wins indeed on his record a former world champion himself broke into the big league when he beat Harold Graham for the European title in 1987. That was a shock at the time, and Graham was out on his feet in the last round. Colombo is a very awkward technician. You know, he uses the full perimeter of the round. He, he makes good use of the ring. He's always jabbing and moving. He's never stationary. And it's very hard to tag a man like Colombo. <laughs> He's got a beautiful left jab, Columbay. He's worked behind his left hand. Columbay has got a good amount of speed as well. The last time these two met was in Pizarro in 1988 when Columbay was too quick, too slippery for McCallum, who some people said wasn't in the greatest of condition for that fight. And Columbay took the decision on all three judges' scorecards. Callum trying to put that blemish on his record right here in Monte Carlo. McCallum is a very slow starter. He always takes time. He, he fills his opponent out. You know, works behind his left hand to create openings, but he, he has to step out of place tonight. He can't let this fight go. These really are two very, very clever technicians of the ring, real craftsmen. And that's why they've stayed around for so long at the top level. You look at fighters like these, these two guys, and you know what you've got to produce to become world champion. <laughs> Callum Bay's last world title fight ended in a traumatic 88-second defeat against the IBF champion Michael Nunn. That was in Las Vegas a couple of years back. But since then, he's won the European title, given it up again to concentrate on another world campaign. Very big fight indeed, this for Callum Bay. His last chance, really, to get back into the major league. Interesting first round, Michael. Yes, I think, I think it was a very, very even round by both fighters. Both working behind their jabs. Well, there is uh, Mike McCallum. He's the son of a lay preacher, originally from Jamaica, now based in New York. They used to call him uh, Mellow Mike. That was his first nickname. He's never been one of the glamour boys of boxing, but uh, when you look at the people he's beaten, uh, like Don Curry, like Mike Watson here, like Harold Graham, like Milton McCrory, well, it really is some record. Former world champion, too, at light middleweight. It really is a shame, and, you know, Mike, Mike has a great all-round ability. You know, he only does what's necessary to, to win a fight. You know, he, he never wins devastatingly you know he, he, he's just a great technician it's, it's, it's a pity he's never had a chance to capitalize on you know the big names in boxing Callum Bay there coming forward and looking for the big right that's not really his style he likes to uh, suck his opponents in and then counter punch them Callum is coming forward but he's coming forward quite warily he doesn't want to make the mistake of uh, playing Callum Bay's game Callum Bay out of range a couple of times with the jab. 
really is a, a bit of a chess match between the two of them. This is similar to the first encounter they had. You know, you had Columbe dancing around using the left hand, you know, making things very awkward for, um, for Mike. As I stated before, Mike, Mike is a very slow starter. I think when you fought uh, McCallum, you were told by Mickey Duff, your manager at the time, to keep McCallum on the move, make his legs, his old legs, so it was thought, uh, get tired in the later rounds, but it never happened, did it? Yes, the strategy, the strategy was for me to, to, you know, to keep with him, keep pressuring him, and hopefully in the later rounds he would die down, but, you know, he surprised us all as, he, as the rounds went on, he got stronger. He might know, he's very, you know, he's a, he's a great fighter, he knows how to pace himself, he paces himself very well, and he doesn't throw shots unless, you know, unless he knows it's going to connect. Well, McCallum's having a good second round here. He's scored well with the jab and dug in some useful hooks to the body as well and made Callum Bay miss a fair bit in this round, like just there. Mike is certainly warming to the task now. He, he's doubling up on his... He's feeling his way with the jab and working down to the body. Look at a clever technician McCallum is. He gets his gloves up as well, and those jabs from Callum Bay just hit the gloves. They were not scoring punches. Callum Bay just looks a little bemused at the moment. He's got such an extensive toolbox, this WBA middleweight champion. Mike is making things very difficult. His, his timing is his, his perfect. His jabs connecting, beautiful hooks to the body. And this is where it's going to matter most. No doubt about it, that was McCallum's round after what was quite an even opening round. And I think that the uh, Jamaican McCallum will be well pleased with his work as he goes back to the corner there. Here's some of the action again from this uh, second round, Michael. Good body shot, that, wasn't it? Very good. And now you know why this man has been avoided by all the top names in, in boxing. Well, third round, it's due to go 12, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it did go 12, either. <laughs> Callum Bay, let me remind you, in the white trunks. Born in Zaire, but now living in Chiravare, Italy. And much loved by the Italian fans. He's a naturalized Italian, trained by Ennio Galeazzi. I think Mike should get in a little bit more, more, more close and work his left hands and get, get to the bodies. Get inside a, a little bit more. Just, just stay with him. There are more question marks in this fight over Callum Bay, really, than uh, McCallum. The question over Callum Bay is wh really is whether he is a world title level kind of fighter anymore after what happened against Michael Nunn in 1988. Well, this is the test of whether he is. He's acquitting himself pretty well so far, and he's doing rather better at the start of this third round, scoring more with the jab. It's, a, it's very unfortunate with Colombo against Michael Nunn. You know, it's very, it's very hard to judge him on that performance. You know, the first round knockout. You know, I've always uh, respected Colombo. He's a very, very good connection, and he's very awkward. He doesn't, he doesn't. It's very rare he gets tagged with a clean shot. I think McCallum's having a bit of problems uh, with that abdominal protector of his. He keeps uh, shifting it, I notice, every 30 seconds yes. or so. That's a good little burst again from McCallum. He's feel McCallum's feeling his way with that left hand perfectly. Getting his time and getting his distance and following up with the left and right hook. McCullum rides a punch extremely well. 
you never see him taking a, a clean shot on the chin. He, you know, he moves, his, he moves his head a fraction away to take away the full effects of the punch. I think I'm right in saying he's only been down once in his career, and that really was a bit of a flash knockdown against Harold Graham in That's the fifth correct. round. There's Callum Bay's wife watching at uh, ringside. I wonder what she's making of it so far. Looks a bit anxious. I would be if I was up against Martin Callum.